I guess that's how far there it goes. And there comes a grain cart home. Mm. He's gonna dump the rest of it on the semi. I didn't think it would fit it in here, but I guess it will combine in here. All right, so it's Sunday. It's rained all day, probably about a good inch, half inch of rain. You can see there my boot. Yep. It's gonna come in the barn here before too long. Yeah. I think I'll let my eggs back here to get a head start at getting rinsed off. I know that's what I'll do. So I got my butt chewed out last night yesterday because I moved that lime truck put it over here because we don't use it hardly much no more um, so I had room to get them lawn mowers in there without having to move the square baler uh, yeah didn't hit nothing with the lime truck he's like Boy, you got awful close to that corn head with that baler. Nothing got hurt. We're okay. Nothing got hurt. So last night, or yesterday, we took the combine to do a couple fields for some people and we just clipped the wheat real high and ran at that. We weren't going to horse around with taking all that material in. Trying to get the straw so that it can just rain and the straw could be ruined. We just put the spinners back on and spread it back out. And yeah. Oh look, we got a problem here. A running river. Drip, 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 drip. Yeah. We don't need the wiper on, we'll just wear the blade out. We do need to find some defrosters though. Yeah, you run the wiper too much, it wears out, and then, uh, you gotta buy a new one, and this is a specialty wiper. I don't know if Hartville Hardware, they probably would have it, but, uh, it's not your standard Napa wiper blade. Is it just a rain? It sure is a good thing that I mowed grass yesterday. Yeah. This is just a little bit too much rain. Nah, cricks a few inches from away from flooding, maybe. Two and a half, three foot. Maybe. Oh, this ain't wet through here like it normally is. 
Yeah, it's wet. I'll see if this pipe's handling it all. Holy crap! That undermined that so bad. Look up for here, holy cow. Look how that just ate that away. Holy cow. <laughs> that road's gonna be gone before too long here. Yeah, you guys remember when I first bought this gator, we, we put that stone there and all this rain just caused all the the stone just to wash away. Now, where am I gonna get myself turned around at? <laughs> Do I dare cross that little itty bitty bridge? I don't think so. Cause I can't swim, guys. I'll just be honest with you about that. I I don't swim. Yeah, we made a little bit of rut, but oh, that's not bad. Just cross your ruts so you don't, or just alternate your track so you don't make ruts. Corn needs it. It needs a drink. I don't think the corn needs this much of a drink, though. I don't know. I'm not corn, so how would I know? There's like 19 rows of straw that's left to bale. Um, and I'd hate to say it, but I think we're done with straw. <laughs> Um, it's just, it's ruined. Straw and hay can only handle a little bit of moisture. Not something like this. Yeah, that hay is ruined. And then it's supposed to rain tomorrow too. Monday. No. What a disaster. What a what a way to end wheat harvest, huh? What a way to end it. But the double crop beans sure need a drink. I don't think they need this much of a drink. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at the water. Holy cow. Wow, look at the water. Mm. Wet, wet, wet. service in Cleveland has issued a flood warning for eastern Ashland County, extreme northern Holmes County in northeastern Ohio, southeastern Modena County in northeastern Ohio, western Stark County in northeastern Ohio, southern Summit County in northeastern Ohio, Wayne County in northeastern Ohio, until 5.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 2.13 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. Flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the warned area. Between one and three inches of rain have fallen. Some wow. locations that will experience flooding include Canton, Worcester, Massillon, Barber Chun, Green, North Canton, Orville, Ridman, Doylestown, Hartville, Creston, Brewster, Navarre, Dalton, Shreve, West Salem, Mount Eaton, New Franklin, Norton, and Canal Fulton. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 2 inches are possible in the Warren area. Flooding is forecast to occur along the Zember Ditch West branch of Nimashilla. Jeez. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. 
Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets, and underpasses, as well as other drainage areas wow. and low-lying spots. Repeating, an aerial flood warning has been issued until 5.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Ohio, Ashland, this is ridiculous. Mount Ina, Stark, Summit, and Wayne. Wow, this is nuts. Oh well. Well, like I say, God knows what he's doing. And we're not to question him. So I've been away from uh, the camera for a little bit. Um, didn't really have a need, uh, to do any YouTube videos because, uh, well, it has rained every day and that's still bent, but we just won't put the three point spear on this no more and won't break it. I think we're even going to try and mow hay today, hopefully get it made by Oh, Saturday or Sunday, maybe. So, it looks like it's supposed to rain again. I got to get busy mowing grass. And thus, this is a good reason why I moved all this stuff around was because... So I don't have to keep moving that 7200 and baler out all the time. I can just let the lime truck set and get the mowers out around it. 